Hello, my name is Maria Rose, and uh, welcome back to Music and Munchies. Sometimes I make music videos, sometimes I make munchie videos like this one, but they're always delicious. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crispy, crunchy, delicious cauliflower taco. It has everything you might possibly want on a taco. It has a vegan cream sauce, it has a fresh pico de gallo, it has crunchiness, it has savoriness, and it's dang delicious. So if you're ready, well let's get started. I'll show you how to make it step by step. Step number one, step number two, step number three. Here you go. So we start out with a cup of flour and then some taco seasoning. If you don't have that, you can just use cumin, uh, paprika, and chili powder. I used three tablespoons of the taco seasoning and a teaspoon of onion powder, a couple sprinkles of chipotle powder, or you can use smoked paprika just to give it that smoky flavor, some salt uh, to taste. I used like a quarter teaspoon and some black pepper because you know you can't have a dish without the S&P salt and pepper. And then you mix it all up so it uh, blends evenly. And then you add a cup and a half of water. I started out with a cup, I blended it up, and then I was like, nope, this is not gonna work as a dough ball. I need more water. And so I added some more water. You want it to be about the consistency of pancake batter, like a thick pancake batter. Then you cut up about a half a head of cauliflower into bite-sized pieces and you dunk it, you dunk, dunk, dunk into the batter and then to make it extra crispy you dunk it, you dunk, dunk, dunk into some breadcrumbs. I used um, panko breadcrumbs for this and it makes it so crunchy and so delicious and then you just like work super fast because I'm like the superhuman that moves super fast like this. Like, meow, meow. Okay, so anyway, then you put it into the oven. I put it in at about 400 degrees for about 22 minutes. And on to the pico de gallo. Again, you don't have to make this if you're like in a hurry and you just want to have something healthy and delicious and quick. You can just use regular like canned salsa. But I love the freshness of this. So you chop up some tomatoes. I use cherry tomatoes. Chop up some cilantro to your liking. I like a lot of cilantro, so I use a lot. I also like a lot of onion. I used red onion and about three cloves of garlic because it is the winter and I'm trying to not get sick. So onion and garlic are really good for that. And then um, about a half of a lime, you squeeze that in there. And this is my first time using that lime squeezer, you guys. I was so excited to use it. And then some salt so all the flavors blend together. And then you stir it up. And ooh, it's, it's time to shine. Look at this Pico de Gallo. It's so pretty. I love all the colors in there. All right, now we're gonna make the ranch sauce, the cream sauce that goes on top. My hack here is just to use some vegan mayonnaise, sprinkle in some uh, salt, and use maybe like a teaspoon of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, whatever you like. And then you add dill and parsley and boom, you have yourself a little cream sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm moving so fast. All right, now onto the guacamole. You take uh, some avocado. I like to put onion and garlic in mine. You don't need to if you don't like it. Then you put some lime and salt. All you really need for guac is, you know, lime, salt, avocados. Anything else is just to taste, whatever you like um, in, your, in your guacamole. And look at this. Oh, they're so crunchy. They came out really well. So those are the cauliflower bites. And now it's time to dish it all up. I like my uh, burritos, tacos with beans. And then I put the guacamole on top so that the cauliflower bites will stick to it. And then I line them all up and make them look nice and pretty. Put that beautiful pico de gallo on top. That adds so much flavor and so much freshness to it. And then the vegan cream sauce on top of that. And then I forgot to film this, but I also put lettuce on top of that. Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? So yeah, let me know uh, if you made these, let me know what you liked, if you, what you would change. Uh, if you liked it, then share it with your friends and try it out and let me know what you thought. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Enjoy. Bye.